Hey guys, it's Amy. Today I have an unboxing video for you guys. I'm sure that if you follow me on Instagram, by the way, my Instagram name is Fashionably Amy, same as my YouTube, uh, that you would have seen that I um, had a Chanel haul. In fact, I'm gonna unbox more than just Chanel. I have a few more other things that I bought throughout July uh, in my birthday month, so let's get started. I'm gonna get started with the Chanel items because I'm sure that you guys are dying to see them and I'm dying to open them as well and get to use them right away so I have a small baggie and I have a bigger baggie so I'm gonna start with this small one so it comes in this beautiful Chanel bag it comes in this little box of course I have all the proof of purchase in here like I said it was my birthday month and also the fact that I was um, I was a little bummed out by the fact that I didn't get to buy any Chanel during my Europe trip which I mean, it's kind of my fault. I mean, I should have at least, um, you know, lined up and try to buy something. But um, actually, you know what? I did go to Chanel in a Galerie Lafayette. And I kind of regret it. I wish that I did buy the ones that I saw and um, looked at in France. But these are pretty similar. So um, here you go. These are the silver earrings. They are medium size. So compared to my other CC ones, these are a little bit bigger. I'll put the other one side by side for you to see. And as you can see, it has some baguettes and it has some round stones. I remember the ones I saw in France, they were all baguettes, I think. Uh, and they were roughly the same size and it was also in silver. I think the other ones were actually brighter and uh, I really like... I'm really mad at myself for not picking them up, but these are really pretty too. So here you go. This is the comparison between my other pair of CCs and these ones. So that's how they look on me. They, they're they really pretty and I don't think they are too big. I, I, I mean, I tried on a few and these were the ones that uh, that were still bigger and suitable for my my ears. I, I don't have super huge ears, so I thought these were really perfect. So I do have my proof of purchases here. I bought them on the same day, but I just kind of like bought this item first and then I decided I wanted to look at what they had in the jewelry section and bought these two. <laughs> the second purchase is right here in this box. Again, with the camellia and beautiful packaging always this item I'm not too sure though I mean I was on the hunt for this for many many months um, I think for over over six months I'm sure that I've been you know trying to get a hold of this it's so hard to get a hold of this and they finally came but I'm still I don't know I'm not sure about it I I'm not big on SLGs if you guys haven't noticed in all my videos. I mean, I have I have basically the bare minimum of SLGs because I don't know, I just don't really need all of the I just feel like I'm I'm happy with what I have and I need my SLGs to be you know, truly functional and if it's just if I if it gets fussy or if I feel like I don't reach for them then I I don't need them whereas for earrings I can have so many pairs and I won't mind or yeah bags is kind of like in between but here you go it comes in this drawstring dust bag to reveal the um I guess they are referred as O cases this is the small here's a close up of the item it's a pretty good one. I had to reject a previous one in gold hardware because so you can see there's a bit of creasing already and it's brand new but the one that um, I was offered at first just a week prior um, had a lot of creasing like all on the top here like a whole line so I'm not sure what happened there um, but this one looks pretty good to me. The zipper has this little CC detail here I'm less sure about this item than my earrings just because I don't know if I'll have a use for this other than maybe using it as a wallet. Um, I saw Lala Elvie's uh, video, Hi Lala, and I really like how she sort of, you know, try to put different things in it and I know that you can use it as a catch-all but I prefer my pochette 
my mini pochette for a catch-all I feel like the as a catch-all it should be able to fit way more easily and I find that the mini pochette does that way better from Louis Vuitton so really the only other way that I can think of using this is as a wallet and hopefully it will be something that I enjoy using as a wallet because I know myself, I, I hate SLGs that are very fussy and that doesn't work the way that I want it to be and if it is the case then I might have to let it go but it was so hard to get it that I, I had to get it when it was available. In case you guys are wondering, uh, the prices have increased at Chanel already. Um, I'm not sure the exact date but uh, this used to be 515 in Canada and now it is 550 plus tax and um, I don't know about these earrings but I knew that. I saw the pair in um, in France. They're similar, they're not exactly the same and I remember it was 290 euros and I should have bought it then. I bought a few more things over the month of July. Uh, I don't know, I guess it's my birthday month and I tend to go a little crazy on my birthday month and also we were traveling a lot. We were in San Francisco in the Bay Area for my friend's wedding. So I bought a couple things from Longchamp and I'm gonna unbox one because this is a gift for um, someone so I'm not gonna unbox it on video in case that person sees it but uh, I'm gonna unbox this one because I don't know I saw this in Europe when I was traveling there and I didn't get it and I was still thinking about it I'm not sure if I have a use for it because again it is an SLG and I'm not big on SLGs I guess um, so it comes in this um, box with the Longchamp paper wrapping. It is a card holder in the croc emboss leather. It's very smooth and very, um, it's very soft actually and it's, it's such a nice size. I was asking them what this sort of symbol represents and it's their bamboo line. I'm not sure if that's the name but it, it represents a piece of bamboo and it opens like so with a snap button closure it says Longchamp it has one pocket here a main compartment here and another sort of back pocket here that goes all the way down so I'm so used to using just card holders nowadays and I only really use my LV one the slim one that holds four or five cards and on a daily basis that's really all I need but um, I know this can probably fit all the rest of my cards in it and I can probably just have this filled with all my other cards and just be able to grab and go whenever I need it. Um, so yeah, so I guess that's kind of where my dilemma is. I don't know which one will be more practical for me. Is it this one or is it the old case? Finally, the last thing that I want to show um, because I don't need to unbox it on video because um, I already did unbox it is from Coach. This is actually from their outlet and I don't really shop at Coach anymore because I I used to love their retail line, uh, not their outlet stuff. I used to really love their their leathers and their bags are really, really beautiful with the Legacy lock, which I love. This is pretty much the line that I shopped for in the past. And for a long time, I think many years, they came up with so many like wild designs with like CCs all over and with all the outlets popping up the quality was just not there anymore but I saw this at the San Francisco outlet it was such a big store that they had so many things and this was part of the um, little section that was very limited in quantity so I guess they have these pieces that are more um, sort of true to their legacy collection or to their um, retail collection I know that they have the exact same one at the retail store um, except that the interior is a little bit more different. This one is a little bit more simple. It comes with um, just like simple pockets like this. It has one here, one main compartment, one here. It has red leather backing, orange red, and it has a um, detachable strap in that full leather, which is really, really beautiful. So it looks like so with a back pocket here. So it comes with... Um, these D rings where you can attach the the strap. I think for the retail version, the D ring is inside. I probably don't mind this version either because this is exactly what I was talking about. The kind of coach item that I used to love because it's so simple. It's very functional. 
um, it's true to their own design. They didn't copy and they didn't get inspired by any other fashion house. It's their own. And I really like this legacy design and I can carry it as a clutch like this as well. And it's so, so cute. So yeah, I, I'm so glad that I was able to pick this up. And even if you can't find it in a coach outlet, if, you, if there's one in your area, I still recommend the one that they sell uh, in the retail store. I think it's um, 300 US or 350 Canadian. And it's such a beautiful full leather bag. I, I seriously think that this, this reminds me of the stuff that I used to love from coach. I'll make sure to link all the products that I can find and also uh, the style codes for Chanel because uh, of course with Chanel there's no there's no link to any of these products uh, they don't really post them online except for a very small selection of their current season for the rest of this week I think I'm gonna be posting a few more videos hopefully I will be able to post my July's favorites and hopefully a few more videos uh, that I really needed to film a long time ago but just have been busy of course and also after all the traveling and coming back home I got sick I think you can tell from my voice I'm not even 100% good yet but I'm definitely much better this week so anyways I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will talk to you again very soon bye